Hello everybody, this is Exelander and this is a seed spotlight for Minecraft 1.6. This is actually the very first snapshot, so I can't guarantee that it's gonna work forever, uh, in, even in you know the actual release of 1.6, but as for now, you spawn in this little uh, area here with a little pool or a lake or something, and you're sort of in the middle of three different biomes. You have the desert biome, you're uh, in a uh, jungle biome, and also over there you have a plains biome with some nice branch trees and stuff, and uh, this isn't like a super packed, filled, you know, villages with the 18 diamonds in them or anything, but I thought it was a really nice starting area here. You have a lot of rivers, and oh, I'm, I'm gonna get to that, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I just, I really like the starting area, uh, it, it's, it's really beautiful, I think. And I think you can build some awesome stuff here, if you're a great builder, which I am not, sadly. But, uh, and also, oh, I forgot, um, you probably heard them before. There are a bunch of chickens down here, there's one of them. We have a couple of more out here somewhere, can't see them now, they're hiding, they're a bit shy. And we have a bunch of sheep over here, so if you want to have a bed, that's not an issue. Uh, so that's awesome. But I wanted to start out by moving over to the plains biome here, or I don't know if it's plains when it has trees in it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> You have sort of a, a natural incinerator somewhere around here, uh, but most importantly you have a lot of pigs and you have a lot of cows. So um, as I'm gonna show you here, you see cows, cows, here is a little village, we got some cows, more cows, villagers, um, there's just one farm, also more cows, surprisingly. <laughs> There's uh, just this one little farm, but hopefully all these cows will make up for that, unless you're a vegetarian. Uh, but in that case, there are obviously a lot of tall grass here, which you can punch and get some seeds from instead. Um, the villagers, I haven't really, uh, you know, said hi to them all. Uh, but we can always check in here, in the little uh, smithy person's place. Uh, it's not great, you know, we got some, uh, some armor and some bread, but... It, it, I don't know. It's something. <laughs> Anyways, moving along, I'm gonna go back to the desert wall. <laughs> the desert wall. The desert thing. There's the incinerator I was talking about. But again, yes, lots of food stuffs, and we're moving into the desert again here. Right, so over here we got some cactus and some reeds, or sugar canes, I suppose. And, uh, I mean, from a survival perspective, we have coal right here, which is obviously great if you want to light up the place or have something to burn your, or cook, rather, with burn your stuff. I don't know what I was talking about. But anyways, in here we have the uh, loot down here. I'm just going to open up so you can see a little bit better. Let's not blow things up just yet. And uh, I'm just going to show you what's in the chest. It's not super great here. We got some rotten flesh, some bones, an iron ingot. Uh, gold, there's plenty of gold, uh, and obviously the bones, you know, we got 27 bones, that's quite impressive, and uh, if you don't want to eat the meat from the cows or pigs or whatever, you could always use these bones on um, some seeds you get. And down here, you know, usually, uh, I guess you could harvest these TNT blocks if you want to use them, but I found something quite cool here, let's see if I know in which direction it is, nope. Over here, right. So you just dig down a little bit, and you land in an underground ravine, which is pretty cool, I think. You have some exposed uh, materials here, you can't really see, but it's a lot of coal. You got some iron here. If you look down here, we got some lapis, I think, right, right there. A uh, lot of gold, and when you move down here, we got a big lava lake, and oh, there are diamonds! Diamonds! And I think there are only three right here. Probably, there's some redstone and iron around here too. But, these three diamonds make an awesome pick. Oh, goodness, poor bat. Oh no. Aww. Well, <laughs> as I was saying, the diamonds make a good pick for when you're exploring. And there's this huge cave system right here. It's really cool. And uh, I just sort of uh, checked it out really quickly and there's a lot of ore. You know, you see there's gold everywhere and iron and coal. So, you can find a lot of stuff and dig it out. There's one last thing I want to show you, I'm just going to go up to the surface real quick. Right, so when you exit the sand castle, sand castle, sand temple, you go straight off right across the desert here. I'm going to fast forward a little bit for time's sake. Sort of steer off to the left a little bit. You got some more cows, another jungle biome right here, and 
Let's see, hopefully I can find- Alright, there it is. So you got some pumpkins over there, uh, which is good if you want to grow some pumpkins or whatever, but the really cool part, I think, personally, is this thing that we have right here. Where is it? One second. Oh, there it is. So right at the outskirts of this jungle biome, we have a little jungle temple ruin stuff. I think it's just very cute how it's like right there in the middle of the ocean. Or ocean, but this lake, we have it instead of deep into the jungle, it's just right here. And if we walk down here, there are obviously some puzzles you can get shot. Boom. Ouch. And here's this puzzle thing. I didn't figure out how to solve it, but I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we have a chest here with some more gold and iron, another few bones and some stuff like that. And on the other side here we have another chest, so some more bones if you want to grow your uh, flowers or stuffs. Oh, getting shot again. But yeah, that's pretty much a, uh, that's pretty much it for this spotlight thingamajig. I haven't really done one before. Um, let me know what you thought. I uh, I'm not gonna make this in a regular thing, I think. It's just I happen to really like the first map I created in 1.6. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully this is not going to go out of date too quickly. And I hope that you enjoyed.